Welcome to the second episode of Extra Time with Flo. I'm here with Flo. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Okay, let's kick things off. We scored an absolute banger. Two games ago, what was going through your head when you saw the ball hit the back of the net? It was, it was pretty special, uh, and we talked about it. My parents were in the stands and they haven't seen me play live in five years, so scoring in front of them, that kind of goal as well was just really, really particular and really, I don't know, it was, it was just really emotional for me. It was emotional, it was a rocket, and then you had an iconic goal celebration after. What was that? Talk to me about that. Yeah, the goal, like it felt like as soon as he left my boat, I was like, wow, it felt amazing, and I knew it was going in. So you knew right away? Yeah, like the feeling of it. Sometimes you just you just, you just know. know. Yeah. And the, the celebration after was, uh, like the boots are special. They uh, Some of the guys on the team call me Zizou because obviously I'm French, but I don't, I'm not as good as him, but they just love to call me that. And those are the shoes that he used to wear during the World Cup in 2006. Um, and those were given to me by my partner as well. So it was just like mean a lot, like scoring for my parents and with those boots. So it was just a bunch of emotion together. And did you decide to go off social media? Uh, I think some, at times it gets overwhelming, the amount of information you get. Um, and and I just realized I don't need much. Like I don't need all that. And I wanted to stop for a week and it's been like more than a month now. And I just feel, I feel good. I feel better. I feel centered to myself. I focus on other stuff. I like to read. I like to do other activities and, and uh, it's better. Maybe I'll go back at some point, but Maybe he'll go back for this interview so he can watch it. <laughs> I haven't watched all the things that they posted on my goal and all, the, watch his goal. All, all the message I probably potentially got, I have no idea. So wow. it's just, uh, so far it's been good. I like it and maybe I'll go back. Yeah, it probably helps your mental state yeah, of mind. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah no, mental it's health. Good. I usually I used to do that like once a week, every few months. So, but now it's been the longest stretch. So the team has had a little bit of a slower start to the season. What are you guys focusing on to try and turn things around? Yeah, we're a little bit disappointed by the fact that we were not able to, to at least get four points in the first two home games. Um, but the season is still long. I think we have a lot to, to work on. Uh, there's a lot of really good things that we, we've shown throughout those first two games. Now is how to get the ball in the back of the net and keep a clean sheet. I think once we start doing this, we'll be in a good space and then uh, move forward from it. And I'm starting to get to know you guys a little bit more. You guys are fun. You seem like a really good group of guys together, team chemistry. How has that translated from off the pitch to on the pitch? It's it's uh, it's specific this year because our group is really small, uh, a tiny, like we have 20 players, I think. So we just get close together. I think it's gonna be the really important to us against the rest. Uh, and the, the closer we get together, the, 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 the stronger the bond is, the, the, the best soccer we're gonna play on the field. Talk to me about the expectations of yourself and of the team um, for the Open Cup journey. The Open Cup, yeah, it was. It's personally, it's a big, uh, big goal of mine. Last year, we came really short against Inter Miami. We played one of the best games of the season. Uh, I'm hoping we can push forward this year. Uh, we have an important first round or well, second round, technically, that we have to go through first, and then see if we can go as far as possible. Because I want us as a team to compete against better teams. You were telling me earlier that you carpool to practice. Yeah. What are the vibes in the car? Like, what are you listening? Is it a podcast? Is it music? Like, what are you listening to before practice? I'm doing with Kyle Murphy. Uh, we usually like to talk about training, the games, and... So you're already in practice mode when Sometimes, you're... yeah. After, so usually after games, we do that. Uh, but during the week, we just love, like, we get different topic that comes up, like, out of nowhere. Uh, he loves to listen to country music also, so which I don't mind. I enjoy it. But I think that those are good conversations. Depending on the topic and the mood of the day, it's just... So you're from France, but now you're listening to country music. I love, yeah, I Can don't mind. love it? I don't mind it. Wow, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And that's interesting. <laughs> interesting, yeah. A lot of people say like they hate, it's either it's a hate or love I relationship. Love country music. There's no in between where like, oh, it's okay. Like. You talked about food earlier. If you could only eat one type of food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, I'm gonna say cheese. Cheese? Yeah, that's all I do when I go home. Bread and cheese and wine. Have you been to Long Yap? Of course. <laughs> of course. It's one of my, it's not a restaurant place, it's more like a bar, like vibey. Yeah, it's like, vibe yeah, yeah. But cheese, bread, wine, yeah, all the things you that, just said. That's what I like. Uh, but that's usually what I do when I go home. Okay. When I go out with my friends or go out, we go to their place, their home, and we have a board, charcuterie board, and cheese and wine. And wow, that sounds like an absolute blast. We spend the whole night talking and playing video games. Is there like a favorite type of cheese? It depends on the mood, kind of. I know my mom knows that every time I come back, we do, there's a dish called raclette. 
So it's like melted cheese that so you put on the potatoes and with some charcuterie on the side. Oh my God, that sounds so good. It is really good. Yeah. So definitely not vegan then. No, I can't. I wouldn't be able to. I'm not. Yeah. It's too. It's too hard. It's too hard. France is. A, no, I'm probably biased. I'm one of the best culture and food in the world. So it's just. It's. It would be hard to be. Vegan. I don't think you're biased. I would also agree with that. <laughs> okay, let's talk about your tattoos. Can you show us? Yeah. So I have like. I don't remember, but I don't have many. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, That's a seven, lot. eight, eight, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, this one being my first one. They're all meaning something. They're all like family related. So this one was for my parents. This one is for my mom. This is my dad. This is my grandparents. This is my little brother, the other brother, my mom, and this is my dog. <laughs> a dog. That is so cute. Boy or girl? He's a boy. His and name is Simba. Oh, yeah, it's four, four and three months. And I got him just after I did my first ACL, or just a little bit before I did my first ACL. So he was there the, so he's for been, my rehab. Yeah, he's, he's been, been through, through it all. all. Yeah. Oh, he's a ride or die. Yeah, yeah. And you're telling me earlier you spent a lot of your free time hanging out with him, walking around Brickell, just... He, he, he was, it was amazing to have that dog during COVID because it kind of forced you to go out and get some fresh air and, and that you meet people too. Like when yeah. I was in New York, I would just... I met like really amazing people, especially when I was in Cincinnati for like a few few months. Like I met people that I still in touch with. It's amazing, but he's been there forever, and yeah, he's a big part of big part of my life right now. If you were stranded on a desert island, which teammate would you bring with you? Maybe Cal Murphy, or because he's your I carpool think, buddy. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> maybe Paco, because I think he knows a lot about a lot about nature, a lot about like you know food, vegetables, all those things. So I think we could survive well. Yeah, he seems like a good like He's a survival person. Mode. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Next home game, you guys are back playing Memphis. Talk about the atmosphere and what the fans mean to you guys out on the pitch. It's it's always special to play at home, and I think we had a struggle last year uh, to make it a fortress here and, and win important games. Uh, and we had like really, we have amazing fans, and I think they deserve at least from us like putting a lot of effort into the game and and, and win those games and. It's gonna be an important game. Every game is important. Um, but going back to play at home uh, in front of our fans is gonna be important. Uh, we need them. They're always like a special. They give us extra motivation, extra energy, and of course, like we need to get that first win at home so we can get the the train moving forward and, and get more win coming in our way. Amazing. Is there a message you want to say to the fans? We need we need them. We need them. The, the, it's always special to play in front of people that want to cheer for you. Uh, it gives you extra motivation when you're tired, like you hear it like screaming at you, like "Come on, let's go!" And it gives you that little edge and energy yeah. to just Sometimes make a like difference. The 12th man. Yeah, it's yeah. it's. If you could trade places with any other athlete, any sport for one day, who would it be? Trade places, current athletes or past athletes are. I'll let you choose: current or past. Uh, you know what? Pass. I just rewatched the last dance with Michael Jordan. Ah. I would love to be in his shoes. Maybe in the his fourth or fifth uh, NBA final playoffs. Wow. Just to feel like how it is to like know how to win. You know his how to close is a game. Insane. Yeah, exactly. I think that would be really pretty awesome. Well, that's it for extra time with Flo, episode two. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank I hope you. you had fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully you watch this interview. I will. I will. I'll try to watch it. Vamos, Vamos Miami! Miami.